Hi, I'm Mike Song, and this month's tip is how to create a zip zone. A zip zone helps you zip to important documents, folders, email, websites, and more in a flash. This incredible tip comes from our popular Get Control, Get Organized class and my new book, Zip Tips. The most powerful zip bot is the zip zone. This is the area in the lower right hand corner of your Windows toolbar. It could be XP, could be Windows 7, Windows 8. This area can be activated to create a hyper speedway to whatever matters most to you. And it's really fast and easy to do. In fact, I'd encourage you to pause this presentation and set this up right now on your computer. Now just follow along step by step with me. The first step for the setting up the zip zone is to right click on the zip zone and make sure that lock the taskbar is not checked. That'll make this area uh, customizable and that's a really powerful thing. Next step is to right click again and this is just a series of simple right clicks. Right click again and select toolbars and you'll see another menu drop down and you're going to select links. So toolbars and then you're going to select links and that creates right down here the little link icon. Now all you have to do is sort of pull this toolbar to the side and you'll notice right away that you can only fit two or three things on here because the titles of these things take up all the space. Well, we're going to change that text. We're going to take that text and get rid of it so we only see the icons. So we're going to right click on links and we're going to just move up and uncheck show text. And when we do that, we get all these great icons that we can fit in a relatively small space so we can just cruise to what matters most. Now I'll just tell you what these things are, are folders and documents, master folders for, for example, all, all of my clients. I can click on that and see all my clients in one flash. Uh, and I also have here single singular documents like my top goals Excel spreadsheets here as well. One click and I can open that up. So I want to show you how easy it is for you to pull things down here. Let's just say you're working on a project. Oh, let's call it the Get Control of Email presentation. It's your hot project. You're going to be working on it quite a bit. You just left click and drag now that you've unlocked this taskbar and just let go. And you can see that icon right here is the Get Control of Email folder or, or PowerPoint presentation, I should say. So that allows me to have one click and boom, that PowerPoint presentation opens up in a flash and I'm working on it instead of trying to find it. So that's very powerful. I can also pull down folders. So folders can come down as well. So there you can see these folders are there. Now you might say, what's the real benefit of this? Well, it's to have all of the top 10 or 15 places you go the most, whether it's a document or a shared drive folder or a SharePoint folder, or even a website, you can have them in a place where that is always accessible. Because if I have Explorer open, I can see this lower toolbar. If I have a Word document open, I can see this lower toolbar. If I'm in a website, I can see this lower toolbar. If I am in Outlook, I can see this lower toolbar. So no matter what I'm doing, what's going on, uh, unless I'm viewing a PowerPoint presentation, I can click to whatever I want to go to. Now, if you want to put a web page in here, let's just say you want to place this web page right down here, you go to that web page and see the little icon next to the URL, you just click on that and drag it down right into your zip zone right there and then it, you see how it just appeared right there? So you can you can have anything basically you want, even, a, even an application. I'll show you, let's say you use Skype and you want to have your Skype icon down there, that's a software application. Uh, you just, just basically click and drag and drop it down. Oops, let me do it one more time here. I let go and there's that Skype icon right there. So that's very powerful. One last thing, if you have three or four folders there, it's hard to tell which is which. You can create colorful icons for these by right clicking on the uh, the folder itself or the document itself and selecting properties then change icon and for most Windows users you suddenly are going to be staring at a bank of these wonderful generic icons that you can sort of page through and find the one that you like the most and if you see one that kind of catches your eye, oh here's a star so I'm going to click on that star and click OK and then I'm going to click apply. Remember, you can pause this video if it's going too fast and click OK and boom. Right down here now I have a star where I used to have a generic folder. So that's another way to create a visual that will allow you to surf to what matters most in a flash by using the amazing ZipZone robot.